Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, whatever time you happen to find yourself watching this video on the internet, more specifically YouTube, more specifically my Astounding Hades channel. I am Astounding Hades, and welcome to Jurassic Park. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the title of this video did clue you in to what may be happening. This is going to be my top three uh, video games for 2015. On to the games. So here we go. Number three. So uh, coming in at number three on my list is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So um, this game coming in third place is mostly because it was the uh, biggest letdown. For 2016, because you know, I was like, I was not like insanely hyped because I don't get hyped about much. But, um, yeah, this game was pretty good, but not good enough to make it to the second or first slot. You'll be really surprised with the first, with the first slot, so yeah, yeah, it was really a letdown though. Like, it wasn't very good, honestly. It didn't live up to previous things, like, it didn't make the next step forward. Like, you know, Black Ops, the first one, was, you know, a giant step from the previous works, and then Black Ops 2 was a pretty good step forward. Then Black Ops 3 is just kind of there, just sitting there. And, like, that was one of the games I was kind of looking forward to getting and playing, because, you know, co-op campaign, I played with my friend, uh, Dwayne Tuo, who will soon change his name. It's all hush-hush right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a secret. I don't know if he's going to, but he's uh, he's gonna change his name to be suit suiting with mine soon. So, you know, that'd be cool. Yeah. No. Whatever. I mean, there was a mission we got stuck on. It was actually yeah, we got stuck on a mission and we had to reload it like ten times just to get it to work. It was insane. But yeah, that's about it. On to the next one. Number two. My second place for the top three games of 2015 is uh, Fallout 4. I, I really, I'm, I wasn't much of a fan of the Fallout series, but I really do enjoy the Elder Scrolls series. Like, um, I played so much Skyrim, and I have Oblivion as well. I don't play as much Oblivion, but I played so much Skyrim in my free time back when I was younger, when it came out, whenever that was, 2013 or something like that. And so I was kind of looking forward to playing Fallout 4 just to, you know, get immersed into its environments and stuff. And um, it was really good. There wasn't anything that was like a letdown, but like, yeah. It's in second place because I'm not much into the story, you know. I, I just can't get invested into the story. And so, yeah, second place for that. On to the next one. Number one. So, here's the thing you've all been waiting for. The first place. What's it gonna be? What's gonna be my number one game for 2015? Oh, I can hear you just sitting in your chair. All of my one person that's watching this video, I can hear you like, What was your favorite game of 2015? What is it? Just tell me already! Quit stalling! Just tell me! Uh, well, first, let's have some honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Uh, so, um, I only have one honorable mention, but um, it's a very good honorable mention. Um, this game um, doesn't get to be on this list because it wasn't released in 2015, but it is one of the better games I've played recently. Not the best game ever because, you know, it doesn't have the same voice behind it as the originals. Um, I'm talking about uh, Elder Scrolls Online. And, um, you know, I, I tried to get into it, you know, I really tried, but, like, I played it for a few hours, like, six or seven hours straight. And then I just stopped playing it, and I just quit. Like, I haven't played it since then. Like, the first day I got it, I played it, and then I played it for, like, the, the first week I had it. And then I just stopped playing it. For almost no reason, honestly. Except that, um, I had, um, abandoned all my quests, if you know what I'm talking about. And I didn't want to go all the way across the world just to go reactivate them. So, yeah, I just kind of stopped. That, yeah, that happened. 
So, mm-hmm. I'm not sure if I said this before, but um, the reason this isn't on the list is because it was initially released in 2014. So, yeah, it can't be on the top games of 2015 if it was released in 2014. Yeah, 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 I know, I'm a liar, shush. So, uh, the second and final honorable mention, I know I said in the last honorable mention that that was the only one, but I thought of another one just now, as I'm recording this. I planned all the other ones out, no I didn't, um, and I just thought of this just now. Um, the second honorable mention is Soma. Now, um, Soma was a small indie game for a little bit, and then lots of big names on YouTube played them. I didn't actually play it personally, but um, yeah, all these games previously I've played personally, but... This and, um, well, yeah, this I have not played personally, but I've watched quite a few playthroughs of it, and yeah, it doesn't get first place or th second or third place because um, I'm not a big fan of horror games, but I do enjoy the story, and so that's something. Like, a story of a game is a good part of what makes me like a game. Sorry, the camera is shaking, I'm passing it from hand to hand so I can gesture without you seeing it because you know I'm stupid like that. Anyway, yeah, I really like Soma for its story and its, um, choice narrative thing. It was really cool and all, but I'm uh, just not a big fan of horror games, and plus I didn't play it myself, but that doesn't really knock down where it goes on the list. I just, you know, not a big fan of horror games. And finally, number one. And here we go, the moment you've all been waiting for. First place. What is my number one game of 2015? Hmm, you may be asking yourself, what other game have I played? My number one game for 2015 is Undertale. Yep, you read it right, Undertale by Toby Fox. Yeah, I love that game to bits. It's my favorite game of 2015. Um, I actually haven't played it personally, but I have watched so many playthroughs of it, you know, and um, I'm not going to try to spoil too much here in case the person watching this hasn't seen a playthrough or done a playthrough of their own, but I've watched every, you know, route that you can watch because there are different things you can do with the story to get different endings, and it's like, it's, it's a really good game, honestly, and if I have the setup, I would play it and record the hell out of it, but since I don't, ah, I can't. So, yeah, it's a PC exclusive for the people that don't know. And for the people that don't know, also, I don't have a PC. I have an Xbox, and that's it. I know, I'm trash, I'm sorry. I don't have money for anything. I had a laptop for a while, and yeah, I've told this story before. I got like a bajillion million viruses on it, and I lost everything, and I just threw away the laptop because it was irrecoverable. The screen had a big crack across it. <laughs> so yeah. Undertale though. My favorite game. Um, there are playlists on this channel that are uh, private rather. Um, of a whole bunch of uh, YouTube videos. Not of mine. My making. But um, <clears throat> YouTube videos that are just like you know. Co well not covers but you know. Um, songs and stuff from Undertale. It's like the best ever. Yeah, there we go. My uh, top three games for 2015, including two honorable mentions. One of them isn't even from 2015, but you know, screw it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Bye, guys! Once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Bye, guys!